guest is Lisa Ball. Lisa, thank you for coming. It's great to be here. And Lisa <laughs> is a published author. So tell us about your company is William, William Joseph K. Publications. Tell us a little bit about how that came about. Well, we got started in uh, 2007. We opened up our internet doors. And uh, you can catch us online at William Joseph K. Publications. And um, <clears throat> what we do is we assist local authors in um, editing, publishing, and promoting their books. Um, currently, we have four books okay. that are published, um, two of which I'm showcasing today, Episodes of the Norm and uh, The Worm and the Caterpillar. We have another one on the horizon, which will probably be released later this fall. Oh, okay. Nice. So your first book, we can show Episodes of the Norm. It's a compilation book, correct? Correct. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what is in the book, I guess how you went about finding the people to have, to put their work in this? Well, um, Episodes in the Norm, it came, it was published in September of 2008. Um, the summer before, what I did was I threw up my website. I had an idea to come up with an anthology. Mm -hmm. Threw up a website, um, solicited authors online and throughout the community to donate their um, works. Uh, it's a collection of uh, rants, slams, poems, and essays and short okay. stories. And 50% um, of the proceeds are donated to the Autism Society of America. Oh, okay. Um, now, well, we'll talk about the Autism Society in a second. Mm -hmm. Why why the title, Episodes of the Norm? Um, well, I kind of came up with the title because I think that um, simply extraordinary tales come from ordinary people. Right. So, it just kind of, everybody has their own norm, right. I guess you could say. Right. Um, and. Let's discuss a little bit about, you said 50% of the proceeds from this book go mm -hmm. to the Autism Society of America. Yes. Now, you said previously that this was a little bit tied in with the um, whole name of your publication company, but mm -hmm. why, I guess, tell us, tell us a little bit about why you chose that particular organization to give the money to. Um, well, I chose um, the Autism Society of America, um, firstly, because of personal reasons. Um, William Joseph K. Publications is named after my brother, who was autistic, he passed away uh, some years ago. Okay. So I'll, basically what I wanted to do was try and help others that, like he was. Right, okay. <clears throat> well, that's very admirable of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And where can you pick up this book for people that are interested? The book is available online at barnesandnobles.com, indyrhythm.com, and amazon.com. Okay, and you, did you say that there is going to be a volume two of this? Yes, this summer we are opening the doors for su okay. submissions to um, Episodes of the Norm, the second edition. Okay. And um, this first one, we actually had uh, authors across the states, but this next one, I want it to solely contain Michigan authors. Okay. So it'll be Voices of Michigan. Right. So, and that will start July 1st. And everybody can, who's okay. interested in submitting, and it, their works are donated because we are sending 50% of the proceeds right. again to the Autism Society of America. Right. But they can submit their works online at episodesofthenorm.com. Okay. And are there any, mm -hmm. um, I guess, what would be the criteria or what kind of guidelines do you have for submissions and what kind of things are um, you looking for? I'm looking mostly for nonfiction works okay. under a thousand words because um, I do like to keep them kind of tight so we can get as many authors right. in a variety as possible within the book. Right. Okay. And then the second book that we have is more of, is a children's book. Yes. Is The Worm and the Caterpillar. We're yes. So that. <laughs> that is How our pre-publication copy. <laughs> pre-publication just off the press. Yeah, it's almost off the press next week. <laughs> How did this book come about? I guess where was the inspiration for The Worm and the Caterpillar? Well, this, um, actually The Worm and the Caterpillar was originally a poem that okay. was submitted in Episodes of the Norm okay. titled The Parable. Oh, all right. And just uh, when I read it, I was just like, well, this would make just an amazing little children's book. Right. Because it just has a really compelling message about uh, the power of belief mm -hmm. in oneself. And um, luckily, I had my brother-in-law, Joshua Ball, he's a local artist. I threw okay. the idea at him, mm -hmm. and uh, he just ran with it and really came up with some great characters. Well, the art the in here, I don't know if we can get a shot of that, the art in here is pretty amazing. It's yes. very, very beautiful. Very talented. Yes. Um, and we'll we'll have you read this in a second. But tell us mm -hmm. about the next places that you're going to be, the next kind of next event that you have. 
Do you have any book fairs, <clears throat> book tours, things like that? Well, actually, this weekend, Episodes of the Norm will be on display with the Independent Book, Publing, Pu Independent book Publishing Association okay. in New York. Okay. Because they have a booth, and it's at the North American Book Expo, okay. which is uh, one of the largest trade shows. So Episodes of the Norm will be on display there. All right. I wish I could make it there, too. <laughs> but uh, they're kind enough to put it, since I'm a member, they put it on a display in their booth. Right. But um, we will have all of our books available at the Carytown Book Festival, okay. and that is September 13th in Ann Arbor. Okay. It's, uh, it's on a Sunday. It's an all-day event. Hopefully the weather will be great. Right. And it's very family-friendly. There's all kinds of things going okay. on for kids there, and anybody who's, in, who's interested in reading, hopefully right. a lot of people. <laughs> well, we do actually today have a bunch of kids, if you guys want to come up. All right. <laughs> that Lisa's going to read The Worm and the Caterpillar to. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Lisa Ball with the worm and the caterpillar. Yay. You guys ready for a good story? Yeah. yeah. All right. The worm and the caterpillar. How did you do it? Said the worm to the caterpillar. I believe that I could, and set firm the course, never minding the struggle and inviting the worst. I did not look back. I did not look forward. I only took one step and then took another. But how could it be? So difficult a task could be done without planning, without wonder, without toil. I did not say that. I did not say it still. Difficult it was, but not beyond will. I cannot believe it. I still cannot see. How could a caterpillar fly with the bees? There is your answer, you silly old goose. Your doubt is your wall. Your fear is your noose. And he worried and puzzled as he crawled in the earth, how a cousin so alike could take flight like a kite. He heard not the lesson. He was so used to digging. He dismissed the monarch as any cousin or sibling. The end. That was it. Thank you very much, Lisa. Thanks for being here and sharing that story. And we'll be right back with more after this.